On this particular one, we're looking to find all the zeros, so we're trying to solve this one. Now, this 4 up here, this exponent, the 4, tells us we can have up to four different zeros. And the way we want to find this one is uh, we look at this one, and it looks like one that we can factor. In fact, this looks real similar here. But the first thing we need to do is we've got this g of x, so we're going to set that thing right there equal to 0. So we do that very first. Now we look at it and say, well, this kind of looks like one that we can factor. It's a little bit different because it's x to the fourth power. We're not used to seeing that. Now envision for a moment, uh, bear with me here, if it were x squared. If it were x squared minus 10x plus 9, that would be an easy one to factor. We know that it's going to be a negative 9 and a negative 1. Those two would multiply together to give us 9, but add together to give us negative 10. So if I wanted to factor that one, the factors would look like that. Okay, x minus 1 times x minus 9. Well, the same thing is true over here. The only difference is instead of just 1x, x times x gives me x squared. I need an x to the fourth. So instead of it being uh, x minus 1, it's going to actually be an x squared minus 1 and an x squared minus 9. And if we were to multiply those two together right here, x squared times x squared would give me x to the fourth power. Uh, so that would work out really nice for us. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this section over here because really that, that isn't anything to do with our problem. It's just to relate it to something that you already know. Okay, so that's gone. Now I have this one set up here. I've got a, a 0 equals x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 9. Okay, I can set all of this equal to 0 here, but I also can factor some more here. x squared minus 1 will factor into an x plus 1 times x minus 1. And an x squared minus 9 will factor into an x plus 3, 3 times x minus 3. So I go ahead and I do that now. x plus 1 times x minus 1 here, and an x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now I have four different ones here that I have to set equal to 0. Okay, so I do that now, x minus 1 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, x plus 3, x minus 3. I've got four of them. I'm going to go ahead and solve all four of these here. Uh, and I just move the, <coughs> excuse me, this one, I just add it to both sides. So now I have a total of four answers here. I've got a positive and a negative 1. I've got a negative and a positive 3. So my answer on this one, all of my zeros are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3. Now if you wanted to, you could take it directly from this spot right up here x squared minus 1, move the 1 over, and then take the square root of both sides. That would work as well. Same thing with the 9. That works just fine.